So occasionally we may have to suspend reality ever so slightly to bring you beautiful aerials, but otherwise what you see is what you get. And that's the approach we've adopted right from day one when we set about filming the first ever episode of River Monsters in the Himalayas in India. I heard these stories about something strange happening in a particular river. People disappearing. Some people there said that it was a particular fish, a large fish. One possibility was that this was a, a type of catfish called a goonch catfish. This is what looks like a goonch. I like this bust. Could be reaching freak sizes as a result of the custom there of cremating dead people at the side of the river and then putting you know, the half burnt remains into the water. Very, very important that we caught this fish because actually without the fish we wouldn't have a film. We had all this wonderful background stuff mm -hmm. but no actual animal to have a look at. Where we ended up fishing was a very dangerous place. The monsoon rains had started, the water was running very, very powerfully. This is actually the early stages of a possible flash flood. No rain here, but suddenly the water has gone dark and chocolatey. It's actually risen about two feet before my eyes. A couple of days ago, four local fishermen, you know, people who know the water, were just washed away. Gooch can be very, very hard to catch, and the desperation was just mounting, mounting, mounting. You just start putting the hours in. At times, we were fishing round the clock, so physically getting pretty worn out, but mentally as well. The shirt was almost like a clock. It just showed how long that we'd been at it. More and more holes gradually appearing until there were more holes than shirt. Jamie and I must have made three trips to India, probably totaling six or seven weeks. It got to the point where we would have done almost anything to get a fish. We hadn't caught anything for days, and we were fishing at the same spot we'd been fishing at for the last few weeks. Oh. It's a kick. Come on, come on, come on. He had a look in his eye, the way he was behaving, told me that this was it. I actually felt under a lot of pressure to, to get a result, to catch that fish. He gets down to the end of the beach and then just pulls his radio microphone off. Take it off, take it off. He's going in the water. When there was a chance of getting the fish when it's on the end of the line, well, I mean, sometimes that makes you do things that, in ordinary circumstances, maybe you wouldn't. I'm going to have to go across. Nothing would stop him. When I was trying to catch the goonch in India, um, this was actually the very first program that we made. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Very, very important that we caught this fish because actually without the fish, we wouldn't have a film. I was worried he was gonna drown. I thought the fish could come and get him or he's gonna get tangled in his line and, and just get pulled to the bottom. My feeling of joy when Jeremy had gotten across the river quickly disappeared because I knew I had to get over there. I can't swim with the camera. I just grabbed what I could and ran up the cliff face, along the road, maybe half a kilometre, across a bridge. I was absolutely exhausted. And that's really where it all started, that human-sized goonch catfish on the riverbank in North India. That's really what led to everything that's followed since, all these other adventures around the world, and what an amazing journey it's turned out to be. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.